Hello guys, this is Chaos or David again, and welcome to my first ever retro game from the Nintendo Entertainment System called Super C or Super Contra. I really missed um, how much I love the Contra series, and I just thought I'd go ahead and do this. Plus, to put up something else that is entertaining for YouTube. So, uh, I. Uh, so, yeah, let's just do this. And uh, this, this level right here isn't really that tough. It's just that. Um, I mean, if you're too used to this level, then it's no problem, but if, um, if you're new to the Contra series, then it may take a couple of tries to get, but, I mean, if you start to get used to this game, then I guarantee I guarantee you that you'll get it. Damn, get off. Those guys almost killed me right there. I can't believe that. And yeah, if these, ga these guys touch you, then you pretty much die. And, uh, the... Then this game, uh, pretty much has, uh different kinds of weapons that you can use and oh <laughs> come on get off anyway the uh, the weapon I'm using is called the the, uh, the F which is called the flame shot the, the weapon I used to have right there it had the M was the M right there but the weapon I'm getting right now is called the S or you can just call it the spread shot and uh, basically the F's pretty much the uh, pretty much I mean I would say it's the best weapon in the game since probably since it uh, shoots in many different directions, I mean, you can kill a lot of enemies with this thing. And oh man, <laughs> sometimes I, I hate it when those guys get so close to you and makes you think that you're gonna die. But and uh, this boss is pretty easy. All you gotta do is just shoot down these, uh, shoot down these turrets. And I sometimes hate how these guys just pop out of nowhere. And uh, after you shoot the turrets, you just gotta shoot this cor this little core thingy right here, and boom. He's really easy pickings. I mean, I mean, I kind of like that helicopter though. I mean, he, I mean, he's a, I mean, he's pretty cool looking, but he's just way too easy. Now this level right here is the first uh, uh, overhead level. I mean, these overhead levels aren't that bad really, and uh, this level is kind of like the same uh, same thing as level one. I mean, like it's pretty easy, but it takes a couple tries to get it down. And I really hate those tanks. Sometimes I hate them. I mean, because uh, you pretty much have to uh, watch where they're going to shoot. Like, as you can see right there, they're pretty much shooting in a spreading pattern, so it's kind of easy to predict. And uh, you just got to pick a good place to uh, to uh, uh, shoot them at. And those these red guys' bullets, I think they're the most an some of the most annoying guys in the game. And especially in this level, since they come up, come up behind your ass a lot of times. And, uh... Throughout most of the time in this level, their shots are gonna get pretty damn close to you, so it's pretty much gonna lower your comfort. You'll be you'll be like getting too close to comfort like that right there. They're just getting way too close. Now uh, you're probably wondering why. I don't, now I'm just I'm, I don't bother going for those turrets because uh, I mean they're really easy to dodge, so you can just just go straight through them. Now this guy can be kind of tough sometimes. I mean you just got you just gotta. Watch for the where the stray bullets are coming from, and just uh, shoot away. That's pretty much it. I mean, once I, whenever you kill those two outside turrets, then you pretty much got them. So, first two levels um, shouldn't be that much of a problem. You just got to get used to it. Now, this level can pretty much this this level used to pretty much kick my ass whenever I used to try and get used to it. It, this this level kicked my ass. I mean, I wouldn't say it, this this is definitely this definitely ain't the hardest level though. I mean, I mean some stuff like those turrets and those especially those guys popping out of the tree. They're they're probably the most annoying guys ever. And uh, I'm not sure if I told you this, but the uh, thing that I just picked up was uh, was the called the R. I mean, it's it's kind of obvious to tell what the R does. It um, makes your weapon more of a rapid fire weapon. And it, and you can just like press down the shooting button a lot faster, so you can like cause more damage. And especially, yeah, that's that's a reason why I hate those red dudes, because they can like come up behind you or come up in front of you. I mean, they they can just try to they can they can try to kill your ass. And sometimes these guys can really get annoying. I mean, I'd say this is probably like the 
one of the annoying levels in this game because there's just too many of these guys just popping out of the trees and too many guys uh, coming from behind you. I mean, it, get, it really gets annoying most of the time. But once every, but sort of like the uh, levels one and two. I mean, you just got to get used to what's uh, what's going to be there. And I sometimes don't like it. And I some, really sometimes don't like uh, whenever I turn around and I, th I think I shoot someone and, I, and it doesn't shoot them. Now this sub boss really sucks. I I really hate this. I really hate this spider looking dude. I mean, because uh, I have to keep uh, uh, crouching from those little bullets, those stray shots he keeps shooting right there. And every time he gets close, I have to get on top of him. And uh, whenever I try to kill him, I have to get onto his right, on the uh, on his right. Because uh, I kind of wish I could just like uh, shoot down, uh, like like that right there. I wish I could do that, but I think that it doesn't really do anything. So I just. Uh, try to play it safe and just uh, walk across him or walk on top of him until he starts going to the left and then I can start shooting at him from the right. You'll see why I'm shooting him from the right. Okay, finally he's down. Thank you. And the reason why is because if you just uh, do this part, it's the falling cliff. So if you just stay right here to the right, then you won't have to worry about any guys coming at you. And the reason why I'm going different colors is because I picked up a B shield. I mean, it's pretty much... The thing pretty much makes you indestructible. You can... Yeah, it pretty much, pretty much think of it as a star, uh, shining star from superstar from Mario, the Invincible Star. You could pretty much think of that. It pretty much makes you indestructible for a couple seconds. Now this guy uh, can be kind of tough. You don't know what you're doing, but if you just stand here and just uh, jump over the stray bullets right there, then you pretty much got him. And this is unless if you have the S. But if you got the uh, a regular pea shooter from the front, then uh, from the start of the game, if you got the pea shooter, you're pretty much it's pretty much gonna take a long time. And so that's it right there. That, but yeah, that that dude didn't really. He's not that much of a problem unless you, if you had the S, then you can kill him easily, just like that. Now this level, it took a quite a quite a long time to get used to. This level, I'd say this is one of the levels that really kicked my ass. I mean, I I used to not, I used to really not be able to get used to those bubbles coming out and these red guys coming at you coming at me from behind like I hate those guys and I have to stay here shooting all these bubbles to make sure um, he doesn't they don't get at me like whoa yeah, I hate that whenever I see two red guys and they're about to shoot me at, oh, again I mean they're just way too close for comfort I mean I really hate it when that happens I just decide I just uh, go around here to the right so I can be sure not to make those uh, barrels kill me now those round turrets um, kind of an, used to annoy me. Now those wing dudes, uh, they're not that bad, but uh, you you just pretty much got to know what they're gonna do. I mean they always come out of those holes. They're not really that tough. This part used to really scare me because there are more of those boulders plus those wing dudes and another uh, round turret. I mean because the round turret is the part that really uh, uh, tries to mess you up. The round turrets pretty much suck, and those those bubbles right there home on you. Those 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 things used to kick my ass. But if you have the S, then you pretty much got them. I mean, you just gotta aim your shots right. I mean, if you got the P shooter, then it's gonna take really really good accuracy to shoot those bubbles, because those bubbles can really give you trouble if you don't shoot them. So you pretty much gotta try to know where they're gonna come. And there's going to be a lot of enemies coming up here, so it's safe to just uh, shoot away up here, so that way you can just kill them right away. And uh, those wing dudes, and these turrets kind of scare you a little bit, because um, I mean, because those shots are kind of tight to go in, to go between sometimes. And then some more of those round turrets. The round these these guys aren't really that bad. Some more of these turrets, and this is the part that this is the part that I really hate out of this entire level. I mean, because you got a low crap load of bubbles trying to kill you. Plus, you got the, those red wing dudes coming up here. So this is the part that really starts to get a little stressful. I mean, or not stressful, tens. Excuse me.
But, uh, I mean, if you, you just gotta keep, just shoot, pretty much just shoot as fast as you can way up there until you shoot those last four bubbles right here. And here's the four, level four boss. This guy used to kick my ass. This guy used to kick my ass all the time until I found out a good pattern to avoid his little laser beams. I mean, first you gotta go to the right and just shoot away. Then you gotta get to his left. Then, then you shoot away. Then you get to his right again. Then you shoot like crazy, and you pretty much, pretty much got him. Because the the pattern that he sh that he fires those lasers, the this guy he fires those lasers from, he always starts out from the right, then he always uh, goes from the left over. So I mean, if you if you just follow that same routine, then you've got him. But if you uh, try to dodge those lasers, then you're then you're fucked. That that guy used to kick my ass. And uh, we're halfway done as we're approaching stage five. Now, this this level actually, I mean as I mean as usual, this level always, used to always kick my ass trying to get used to what's what's uh, around here. Cause I mean, the, what's annoying is that right there. Those purple guys just just come at you from nowhere. I mean, from anywhere on the map, you just gotta know where they're trying to come. And the and those turrets right there kind of suck. I mean, cause you're trying to deal with multiple enemies. Those purple dudes and, the, and those turrets at the same time sometimes, and that's probably the part that will try to throw you off a lot. And I was kind of lucky, right? I wouldn't. I, I'm, sometimes I wouldn't really call that luck, but I mean, unless if it. I mean, I kind of call it luck if. I mean, if he was like right, he was about to touch me, but then I actually kill him. I think that's more luck, more like it to be called luck. I mean, but I just hate it whenever they get so super close to you. Now these bowlers, um, they weren't so much of a problem. You just got to know which one to worry about. That one, that one right there that just came out from the top of the map is probably the one that you have to worry about because you shouldn't try to. I'm not sure if you uh, should try to jump from the other ledge from while that boulder is coming down. I mean, but it, it's pretty sure to kick your ass. So you just got to know that 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 one's coming. Now they, now these guys would just come at you from behind a lot, so you, so you pretty much have to turn around and shoot a whole bunch, pretty much. Basically, you just gotta shoot at your left, cause these, cause those guys will be coming at you from behind. And here's the level five boss right here. I mean, I really like how badass this guy looks, but he can be a bitch sometimes. I like the skull UFO. I mean, cause he a uh, death man skull UFO. I mean, cause he'll drop those skulls and those little spike bomb kind of things. Whoa! I mean, because this part is really scary. Ah! Whoa. Yeah. If, if that, if, if you touch that red core, then you pretty much, you, then you'll die if that red core touches you. Because that UFO will try to swoop down at you. That, that boss used to really, used to kick my ass also. Now, this level is probably, in my opinion, the most fucked up level out of the entire game. I mean, because this is the uh, last uh, overhead camera level. I mean, I mean, sure, it doesn't really look look that bad right now. It's just that you're dealing with these mouths that come from the ground, like that right there. That's the part that you really got to worry about. Well, one of the parts is one of the parts that you really have to worry about. I'm standing right there because I don't want to risk picking up that M. And I'm also standing right here, also, well, not just to try and not touch that F, but uh, so uh, just to make sure one of those mouths will try to come and eat me. So I just gotta stay here to the right. Ah! Oh man! Uh, yeah, oh no! Uh, that spider almost—that spider-looking thing almost killed me. Man, I hate these spiders. Now this part, this part is the part that really kicks your ass right here, because these spiky things can sometimes catch you caught. Uh, whoa! Uh, oh whoa, man! Again! Oh man, get the bomb! Yeah, you're gonna want to pick up that bomb. It's oh man, oh show, oh man. See, that's the part that really, it's probably really gonna try and mess you up. Jeez. Now, now we're pretty much um, if once you pretty much kill those guys, you're pretty much good. Cause this guy's not really that much of a problem. You just gotta watch out for those spiky things and just watch out for he shoots those bullets. But that's just a sub boss. This is the boss right here. But the thing that I failed to notice when I used to do this guy is just that I used to go all the way around and try to kill him. But all I, but all I, you, all you gotta do is stand here. All you have to do is stand here in the middle. Because I was worried about that worm, that thing right there. 
I mean, because you're just wondering what he was going to do next. That's the exact same feeling, but all you got to do is stand in the middle. <laughs> oh, God, how many times did I have to go through that shit? You know? Oh. Thank, good, thank God we got through this level. I mean, because I think that's probably the hardest level of the entire game. Now, level 7, I mean, it kind of throws me off a little bit, but... I mean, it did kick my ass trying to get used to it. Because of these guys trying to come at you, but then these get, these purple things right here, I'm like, what the fuck? I mean, what the heck are these guys? Are they just like... I mean... I mean, where are they? Are they like a blob of shit or, or something? I mean, I'll just... I mean, that's what I call them. I mean, I just... I mean, I, I don't just call them just a blob. I mean, but... I mean, the reason why I stay up here, stay up on these ledges, is because I try to shoot those guys on the lower level just to make sure they don't try to come up from behind and try to kill me, because they tend to do that a lot. I mean, it's, I mean, I mean, if you want, really want to play safe and uh, and uh, try not to get screwed up, you pretty much have to stay up there and kill the guy, uh, kill the guy on the lower level to make sure that he doesn't try to run you over. He's like, oh, I'm gonna run you over oh, from behind. I'm an awesome. Oh man. Man, those guys kind of suck. Okay, that's the last of the blobs. And when I when I got to this part, it really kind of confused me because it really wondering what we're really going down. But I mean, it really wonder if kind of looks like we were going down an alien esophagus or a stomach. An alien esophagus is more like it. But uh, I mean, it really kind of confused me going down going down through this part, wondering what the heck it is or what the hell it is. And I and I got another R so I can shoot super fast. It's I mean, because those things, those spider nests right there can be kind of a pain. It's just safe to stay up here and just shoot away until they, until they, uh, die. Until they die. Because if you try to go down there, they'll, they'll shoot the swans of spiders at you. And that's where things can get kind of annoying. This is where the spider shooting starts, right there. I mean, these guys can really get annoying. I mean, I mean, you just gotta hope that you get hope that you don't get hit by them. Now this is a little glitch right here, because I can just shoot him right here and he, does, he doesn't blow up. I mean, he's dead, but he doesn't blow up, which is kind of weird. I hate this part right here. I didn't, well, I, it didn't really come out as bad as I thought, but this is the part I hate right here, because this is the part that just crosses you over. Whoa! Oh, thank goodness I made it past that part. Alright, here's the level 7 boss. I mean, yeah, he may seem kind of hard. I mean, he, he looks kind of badass, but the thing is, you just gotta jump and shoot away. I mean, you're just ho you just better hope that you have the S, because if you have the pea shooter, there's a good chance that you will get fucked up. There is a good chance that that will happen. I mean, I did kill him with the, kill him with this stuff. Whoa! I hate those things. I mean, I did kill this dude with the uh, uh, pea shooter uh, without without dying, actually. I actually did really, really cool moves. It made me wish I really had this. Well, anyway, he's, I mean, he can be kind of easy. You just gotta... I mean, you just gotta pray that you shoot shoot down all of those things, cause those slime things and those little spike bombs can be really annoying. Here's the lot. Here's the last level. Now, when I first saw this last level, I was like, "Wow!" I mean, cause this cause this level is just really uh, really badass looking. I mean, it's probably one of the most amazing levels I've ever seen in all the gaming history. I mean, it kind of reminds you of Alien sometimes. Now, uh, this part coming up right here is. See this jump right here? This jump is the hardest jump in the out of the entire game. This is the hardest jump right here. Here we go. Oh man! Oh, thank you. That I hate that jump so much. I really hate it. I mean, it can really, really determine on whether if you're gonna get screwed or not. I mean, you just gotta get lucky. Now, this dude used to kill me right there all the time. Wow, man! I can't believe I dodged it. Now, here's another one right here. I mean, the first one used used to always kill me. I mean, but these these aliens looking alien looking dudes are really really cool looking. I mean, we're inside the alien lair. I mean, it's really really cool. That uh, whoa, man. Oh well, at least I didn't get killed from it. I mean, because these little alien dudes can be really really annoying. Now this is the part that's really really stupid because of the falling ceiling right there, and not just that, but these baby fetuses coming out to eat you. And he's like, oh, I'm a baby fetus. I'm going to eat you. I'm going to eat your ass. Whoa. <laughs> now, this is the part. This is the part that uh, every time I attempted to do this with no deaths, it used to really screw me up. Nearly all the time. 
mean, because every time I get to, like, the last jump, or to another jump, those baby fetuses or those aliens just coming out of nowhere, or the uh, ceiling pushing me down, I mean, I usually like to stay here just to play it safe, just to make sure that those, uh, the baby fetuses aren't going to kill me. I mean, because whenever they get close to you like that right there, it really gets you, gets you worked up a lot. It gets you worked up a lot. I mean, you just really got to hope for the best. And you just, you pretty much have to shoot, uh, try to get at least most of those things and try to shoot and jump to the next platform. Now, this is the part that really screwed me up right here. Uh, oh man, we're almost there. Come on. Alright, that's it, that's it. Alright, here's the final boss right here. I mean, but yeah, but... Those, that, that falling ceiling really used to, used to kick my ass in trying to do this with no deaths. But, uh, this, this final boss right here is a total joke. I mean, because, uh... I mean, you may be thinking if I walk up to it, I'm gonna die, right? Well... I didn't notice, I didn't know that at first, but actually, I can actually walk up to its leg. But if you do it just like this, then bam, he's all yours. You win. He's all yours. You pretty much just have to walk up to him like this. He's all yours, and you win. Or well, I win. <laughs> well, either or either way, you win. So yeah, that's uh, Super C. No deaths. Man, I can't believe it. It, I mean, this 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 really took a lot of tries to do. I I can't believe I finally got it. But yeah, I really gotta give a lot of props to the uh, to uh, Konami to making this game. I think this is one of the greatest games uh, ever made, ever made uh, in in all gaming history. And yeah, I try to try to ignore all the audio distortion. I really wish I had something that can really fix this, but uh. Uh, I mean, but hey, I mean, I mean, it's cool to have gameplay sometimes instead of just having the audio. But man, I mean, I can hear the audio distortion when I'm uh, recording. But dang. And uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's that's it. And uh, I mean, one more time, I really gotta give a really big thumbs up to Konami for making such a great game. And I'm still trying to work on Contra 3. And so that's uh, Super C, Super Contra, Contra 2, whatever you want to call it. Super C, no deaths, and I will see you guys in the next video. Take it easy.